Within Salesforce, you can use Einstein Activity Capture to automatically sync emails, events, and contacts between Salesforce and either Outlook or Gmail. From Salesforce Setup, to get started, navigate to Einstein Activity Capture Settings and then press on Get Started. The first step is to choose the type of email server you want to connect with. In this case, I'm going to leave it as Google Suite and then press Next. For the purposes of this demo, I am going to select User Level and then press Next. I'm now going to name my configuration and give it a meaningful description. Once that's done, I'm going to press Next and then I can choose which options I would like for emails, events, and contacts. This controls what type of records sync between the systems. In this case, I'm gonna leave emails on and I'm gonna leave events on as well. And you'll note that I can also change the direction of events and the same applies to contacts where I can define a direction and additionally apply another filter to only sync contacts that the users own, for example. I'm going to press Next, and now I'm directed to the advanced settings. This is where I can control how far Einstein goes back when it's first connected in terms of emails. So I'm going to leave this at 180 days, and I can also configure additional settings for events. If I wanted to, I could also add a condition for contacts to sync. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to leave that as is, and I'm going to press Next. From here, I can add users into my configuration, and then press Next. If I had any additional internal domains that I wish to add here, I could do so on this screen. Emails within the internal domain are not captured by Einstein Activity Capture. However, you can choose to sync internal events. I also set my default activity setting on this last screen. This defines if others can see captured activity or not. I'm going to set this to share with everyone and then press next. Now that I'm done, I'm going to press finish and the configuration is going to be created for me in the background. Now that that's done, let's review the additional settings to see what other options we have. From this screen, you can control what records activities are added to. By default, they are added to account, contacts, leads, and opportunities. Additionally, you can toggle on activity metrics, the activities dashboard, and activity 360 reporting here as well. These features are covered separately in additional videos. You can also configure connection status notifications, which will notify you if a certain number of the connected accounts have issues with them. You can also edit the default sharing for new users and additionally share activities with non-Einstein Activity Capture users. From here, you can choose whether to sync internal events and also include Google Meet details on Google events and additionally choose whether to show synced and captured events on the Salesforce calendar. There are other options here that prevent automated replies from being shared and also restrict the visibility of emails that Einstein deems sensitive. By default, excluded addresses will include the domain of the administrator who set up Einstein Activity Capture. This means emails within that domain will no longer be captured by Einstein. So for example, if I send an email from a Gmail address exclusively to another Gmail address, that email will not be captured. Once you've configured Einstein Activity Capture, as a user, you can use your personal settings to navigate to your connected accounts area and from this screen, you can then connect your accounts to Einstein Activity Capture.